is my biggest bluefin ever. Let's see how big he is. He's as bigger than you. He's bigger than you, man. Oh. All right, team, welcome to another video. This is Chris from Reaper Fishing, New Jersey. So it's June 28th, guys. We are out here in 20 Fathoms. We started off at first light on the troll. Lots of life, porpoise, saw a couple whales, tuna chicks up top. We actually marked a couple fish down deeper, around 40 to 60 foot. Uh, so I said, you know what? Let's change things up. Let's sling some meat and start chunking. Uh, so we actually just killed a 66 and a half inch bluefin. That footage is coming up. Uh, we're set up back again. It's beautiful, calm. We got bait staggered at 60, 40, and then just below the surface, and we're going to try and get an under now. So we're allowed two fish between 27 and 47, and one over 47, but below, I believe, 72 inches. So right now we got a moose in the ice, on ice rather, and uh, we'll try and get a couple more. So stay tuned. See you. All right, guys. We've been trolling for all of two minutes. Didn't even get the spread out. We got nine-year-old Lucas hooked up. We're hoping he's got a bluefin. We'll find out soon. Beautiful morning. Couldn't ask for more. Got dad with me. Got the boys in the background. We've been trolling for two minutes. So let's see if we can't kill this fish. Got a boy, Lucas. That's it. Perfect, Dave. Perfect, bud. Let's keep that forward flow. That's all you got to do. All right, here he comes. Good See what we guy. got. Out of boy, Lucas. Here he comes. Dave, you got color there, bud? I got you, man. Keep winding. Keep winding. I think you got a falsy. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. It's life. A little bigger than All right, guys. False albacore. That's okay. That's bait. That's All shark right. bait. Out right. of boy, Lucas. Falsy, yeah, he is. That's a fat Albert. There you go, bud. Hold him up. Hold his tail. Grab real hard. All right, show everybody. We'll make you famous on the internet. Hey. Say pumped. 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 Atta boy. Good job, dude. All right, we're going to make him shark bait, okay? See, that looks sharky. That's all right. That's the whole idea. That looks sharky to me. I don't know. All right, team, so we trolled only really for about 30 to 45 minutes uh, at first light. There were so many false albacores set up on the lump. Uh, typically when that happens, it's near impossible to keep your spread running right um, and out there for the bluefin tuna. So on a whim, I, I told the guys, I said, hey, let's, let's set the hook, let's throw some meat, let's go old school and start chunking. Uh, as far as I know, no one in the season had actually done this yet. Um, so I'm pretty confident I was the first one to bring back a – pretty sizable tuna to South Jersey using this method. Um, always be willing to think out of the box. You can see Dave settled in on this fish. We had him in the harness, um, but he just wasn't comfortable. And for some reason, he just kind of settled in on that corner in the rod hole and uh, in a rod holder rather, and just really kind of beat him up old school. Like you see on, on Wicked Tuna, he just kind of was slowly bringing in, in line with his left hand and, and reeling and letting that fish do its thing. And then Captain Jim was up top, uh, you know, keeping the boat in the proper position. Little by little, baby. That's all. Big fish, man. All right, team. So we've been on this fish now for, what, 30 minutes probably, yeah. Ran him around the boat, came off the anchor. Dave settling in. He's getting the personality to fish, as am I. We got Captain Jim up in the bridge. Lucas is uh, co-captain up there, right, bud? Atta boy. Yeah. And hopefully, guys, we'll lay a dart in this thing, and I'll show them to you. He took some back now. See if I can get it back. See, that's it, man. I can only get a little bit. Stalled at the thermal. Yeah, look at the size. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. With the second calf. Be ready with the second calf. Come on, Dave. Oh, come on, Chris. Second calf. That's a giant fish. That's a giant fish. Get this open. Get this open. He's tail wrapped. Holy cow. I got he ain't going anywhere. He's dead. He's basically dead. Get this open. Open this. I mean he's dead. We got him. Dave! 
Woo! I, I missed him because I'm not used to gaffing a fish in his tail. You know? Drag, give me a little slack. He's every bit of 50. Oh, yeah. Grab me that rope. There's a tail rope right around here somewhere, guys. So, guys, a lot of cursing here. There were a couple expletives, so I'll voice over. Sorry about the bad gaff shot. Like I said, I'm not used to gaffing tuna right in their tail, so it was kind of weird. Um, but we got them. We started them. Hey, he's fine, pal. There's 175 pounds. Dude. That's my biggest blue fin I've ever had. Holy crap. Let's go. Woo <laughs> let's go. No, let's cut it all over. <laughs> Woo! That is a beast. Oh. Yeah. yeah, baby. Good job, dude. dude he was a beast. Good dude. job. Yeah. I saw him and I was like, he's too dark and white. That's a shot. I saw his tail. I was like, oh my God. No? It might be in there. See if there's a measuring tape in there. <laughs> That's the oh my god! Uh -huh. <laughs> about 175, hey. about 58 inches. Nah, he's, I'm guessing 60 plus. 60, 68, get a point. 68 inches, dude. That's gonna go, dude. That's gonna go buck 50 and over, easy. Wow! Wow! Well, guys. That is a 68-inch bluefin tuna, New Jersey, 60-pound fluorocarbon leader. Look at that, 60-pound leader. This is a 4-0 hook, right in the corner of the jaw. Look at that. That fish wasn't going anywhere. I don't know if you can see that, guys. That fish was not going anywhere. Right in the corner of the jaw. Unreal, guys. Unreal. All right, let's go get another one. Nah, you can't. Oh, I'm gonna, are you kidding me? I'm gonna spoon him. Oh, okay. Are you kidding me? I'm spooning him. Oh, no. I'm spooning this fish. This is my biggest blue fin ever. Let's see how big oh, he is. He's almost as tall as me. He's as bigger than you. He's bigger than you, man. Oh. That's awesome. Oh, my word. All the love. I'm sorry, I Joe, killed you. you were right about your son. I told you. All I'm the sorry, love. I killed you. All the love. Sorry, I killed you. We're gonna use I, you. I created a monster, Jimmy. We won't waste you, baby. Yeah. Oh, Woo! I put him in the bag, Chris. Woo! Come on. Yeah! Oh! New Jersey bluefin, baby! Bluefin, baby! Tuna, baby! They will change the prices to 10 bucks a piece. Yeah. Off the no coast of New yet. Jersey. Hey, Chunkin'. Woo-hoo! Thumbs up, Chris! 60 feet. Thumbs up! Oh! You guys pointed towards us there. Thumbs up, baby! Awesome. New Jersey bluefin. New Jersey bluefin. That's my... All right, team. So that's my biggest bluefin ever. Reaper fishing, baby. Sign up, subscribe, more videos coming up. Awesome. It is fun doing catching sharks, but they're awfully tough. Yep. Good job, man. good job. Let's see if we can get them on video up close and then I'll cut them. There you go, he's right over there, Dad. There you go, you got him, bud. There it is. Oh, look at the sand eels he just spit up. Oh, look at that. He just threw up all yeah, up. you see that? That's... All right, here he is, guys. Here he is. I'm going to cut him. Oh, all right, so quick update. It's around corner after one. Uh, really haven't had much action in the last couple hours. This sun is really, really high. And as you can see, it is pancake flat out here. So I think the bluefins probably moved off the lump or they're down really deep. Um, there's still some false albacore that we're seeing every now and then. Um, so there's still some life here. We're going to fish for another hour or so, burn through the last of my flats of butterfish, and uh, sprint on home and weigh that fish. But you can see how beautiful this ocean is. This is extremely rare for the North Atlantic. It's absolutely beautiful. What an amazing day. You can see my anchor line's just straight down. So... Beautiful day, guys. Uh, I appreciate you joining me. As always, thanks so much for watching. As you can tell, we love this, guys. This is uh, it's what we do for fun, and we love it. It's just uh, so nice to come out here and enjoy Mother Nature and forget about the worries of land for a day. It's awesome. So thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate it. And uh, I'm off for 10 days coming up, so we're going to fish hard. We'll see you. All right, team. That's a wrap on fishing today. We're going to get in early for once. Go weigh that fish in, uh, 68 and a half inches. So we'll see, I'm guessing 160 to 175 pounds, we'll see.
Oh, okay. Thank you. Getting some leverage up here. Yeah, Alright, ready? One, two, three. Alright, ready? Yep, one, two, three. Alright. Hold on, let me get him yep. over, Doc. Let yep. me come over. I got this, I got this. Ready? You got that one? Yeah, Hold on, let me get out. Let me Just get out. Make sure you get out real good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we, we got him good. Yeah. And, then, and then get a tail rope on him, too, and then we can lift him that way. One, two, three. Alright, here we go, yeah. baby. He's over. Tommy rolling? And I'm rolling. So a special thanks to Captain Bob Paxson that you see there from Offshore Bait and Tackle right in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Bob, I appreciate you weighing our fish in for us. I know that was a busy day for you, uh, but thanks so much. One seventy-five point two. Go, give me your money. Nah. One sixty-three five. One sixty-three five. I need a calibration sticker on that thing, though. There is a car, I get next to it. Oh yeah. 163.5. Bob, thank you so much for doing this, but I appreciate it, man. Get picture? Yeah, yeah, we'll get some. He's, he's a guy, man. How you doing? They did it. Yeah. Zachy, look at that thing, brother. I mean, look at that thing, dude. Taking credit. You want a picture? Dave. Who's that? Your shot. Dave. <laughs> Go ahead, hon. You're on the you're on the internet. You're on. You're all of it. Nice. Nice. Go ahead, get your beat paws on there. Zach, get out of the picture. You gotta hold it for Alright, alright, oh my god, this thing is heavy. Alright everyone, that's my beautiful wife on the left, my beautiful fish in the middle, my co-captain on the right. Beautiful. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, that, that, you know, just goes unsaid. I just want this, man. Alright. That's so disgusting. Why are you eating it raw? That is the best, man. That is the absolute best, man. You want to try a piece? I mean, just look how neat he is, man. We got this fish on 60 pounds. I just can't believe it. Look at that gill plate. I mean, that's that a 20 year old fish, man. Yeah, it's beautiful. Look at this mouth. Just absolutely pretty. That's, Wait, 20, that's they, 20 year old they, fish. They, they, I know, I didn't get it on any meat. You're good. Chlorine in it. Don't worry cool. about it. You're good. That fresh water chlorine. Yep. Chlorine and salt. If you had a rinse that at all, I'd rinse it with salt water. Yep. That one was really hurt. Really? Dang. Well, I'll keep the eye. Wait. You're sending that to the dock across the tail? Guys. Yeah, I'm going to take that home. Guys, I dare For you guys sure. to eat the I eye. I got a bunch of deer head and cow skulls if you want. We no, can... thank you. All right. It's great. I love it. So right around the collar there. See that? Yeah, Then what we'll do is we'll work right down the side, guys. Jesus. Fish is freaking huge, man. Can't believe how big this fish is. Oh, no, keep them whole. Yeah, I'll take them home, put them in the freezer. Damn it. There we go, guys. Not Good too top, bad. Right? There we go. That's, the top loins are coming out much better, but they're pretty good. <clears throat> Come on, baby. <clears throat> there we go. I got it. There he is. All right, guys. Look at that loin. Mm -hmm. This loin alone. <laughs> this loin alone. This loin alone weighs more than the elephants we were catching yesterday. Look at that. 
<laughs> Guys, this is a, a 160 quart cooler. Yeah, that me. loin weighs more than some of the tunas we were catching. <laughs> Whew. Dave, I'm gonna strip that down. Do your thing, brother. All there's right, a lot. There's a lot in there, yeah. yeah. Yep. And then, and then we'll see what he's got in his stomach. I'm curious. Yep. All right, guys. So, hey, Doc, you, want more sushi you can see that's, that's pretty good yield. Though, and then what we're gonna do is get our knife all on this rack and get all that sushi meat out of there. Run it right all on the rack, and this will go right for perfect sushi. Look at that, guys. Doesn't get any better than that. Get the bag back. I don't know where it is. Yo, bring that bag back. Dave will yeah. eat it right there. I don't recommend this at home. Oh. Dave eats tuna hearts for fun. <laughs> so I don't recommend this at home. Bring it back. We'll but you can it. see, guys, we'll take it right off the Bring rack more. there. I recommend rinsing it in some salt water or this, putting it in the fridge yes. for a little bit. No Sometimes way. they recommend mm. freezing it briefly. Oh, what? That is beautiful. But yeah, guys, we won't waste anything. Yeah. I'll clean that rack up real nice. We'll get right up in that cheek as well. Dave will get in there. That cheek meat. All right, guys. As you can see, that fish is very well dissected. I have the tail as a trophy. I'm going to hang that up on my piling behind my house. The boys are stoked. We're tired. It's hot out. Thank you, fish. We're sorry. We're going to use you. Nothing will go to waste. Chris, man, best, best tuna fisherman, best tuna fisherman that we know. We've been around and we've all fished. Tommy's 189 years old. I fish with him, but uh, I think uh, Chris has uh, got got the edge on him right here. So. Right? What'd you say, Tom? I have gills. <laughs> the, man the, has, the man has gills. The man has gills. The man has gills. Fish one. <laughs> so we're good to go. He said I can smell the fish. <laughs> and I believe it. Alright guys, so this is the one of the top loins here. And uh, I, man, I actually struggled getting it out of the, the core there. So what I'm gonna do now is just go ahead and cut them into quarters. We're gonna keep them as loins for now, and then the guys will stake them up later. Uh, but you can see that's a huge yield there. Uh, pretty cool. So everybody's gonna get plenty of fish. So guys, look at that loin right there. You can see the fat in there. Um, that that is beautiful quality fish right there. That's awesome. Cool. All right. All right, team. Welcome back to my house. I'm going to show you guys how we're going to stake up this loin right here of that nice big bluefin tuna we just caught. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and slice a little bit up for some fresh sashimi. The wife's getting hungry, so then I'm going to go ahead and pan sear some, slice it real thin, a little bit of sriracha mayo, a little bit of soy and wasabi. It's delicious. So check it out. All right, guys, so this is just one-fourth of those big loins that I showed you earlier, and we're going to go ahead and stake this up. It's pretty simple. So the way I do it is the skin is still on. So I take a real sharp bubble blade, all right? I go straight down, all right, down right to the skin, and then I change the angle of my blade and go transverse. And look at that. It comes right out. I don't have to skin that fish or anything like that, all right? I'll just go ahead and keep doing that all the way down. And guys, look at that perfect, perfect bluefin tuna meat. Is that not delicious or what? So I'm going to go ahead and continue that. And then we're going to go ahead and get a nice meal for my wife. All right, guys. So I've trimmed down one of the steaks. And again, this is just for the sashimi. I take a little bit stiffer of a blade, all right? You get that steak like that. And what I like to do is just go on a little bit of an angle there, okay? Cut real, real thin. All right, you can see. It's almost see-through. I don't know if you can see that, all right? As thin as you can, and then lay it off to the side. And then what we're gonna do is go ahead and rinse all these pieces. And I'll show you the end product for that. All right? That's all it is, just going right in that angle with a pretty stiff blade, or any sharp blade really that'll go on through it is just fine. My wife and I enjoy this. Basically every time I get back from a trip, I don't care how tired I am, if I have tuna, I'm gonna eat some raw. Um, it's just something I love doing. All right, so you can see all the pieces laid out there. I just rinsed it. Now what I like to do 
is take a paper towel and just kind of pat it real dry, all right? Get all that excess water off of there. And then into the fridge for about five minutes. So here's the finished product. Fresh New Jersey bluefin tuna sashimi. Doesn't get any better. I literally caught this thing just a couple hours ago, so it doesn't get much fresher. It was only handled by these hands and maybe a couple of my crew members. But go ahead and zoom on in here, Alon, and show them how nice and beautiful pink this is. Mm. All right. So Alon and I are going to go ahead and enjoy this as an appetizer. I'm going to go ahead and pan sear up some. And then I'm going to get some sleep, guys, because I'm exhausted. So thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you.